welcome to a very windy morning here by the beach. Let me catch up with you guys when I get back in the car when it's not so windy. Welcome to the video today, guys. It's a windy one outside. Getting ready to go to the first thrift today. It is just on nine o'clock. I already knocked down some breakfast, so I'm pretty much ready to go for the day. Guys, just in the first thrift for today, they've got this Cardinals Majestic jersey here. Five bucks. It's looking maybe like $30 there. So in that thrift, I got a few other items. Some bread and butter items, some bread and butter and Vegemite items. Just your $15 to $20 profitable items. So one of them was a shirt. They're both shirts. So color bray, long sleeve, extra large, slim fit. Pretty good brand. This is in an all white. Typically I don't try and pick up white stuff, but because like things like that, you can see like there's a small little mark on there. But other than that, it's pretty flawless. Then the other clothing item I got was a Tommy Hilfiger extra large as well. Pretty good brand there. And for all of this, it was $7.50. So $30 for the Tommy, maybe a 25 to 30 for the color bray, 30 for that one. So we're sitting at almost 90 to $100 just for that bit there. But I'm at the front of a Salvo's, which I was going to go into first. However, it opened at 9.30, so I thought I'd kill a bit of time going to that thrift and then come back. So I'm back now, about to head on into this Salvo's. So we'll see how we go at this one. All right, guys, check this out. A pretty incredible thrift find in the thrift. Hopefully it's like a big enough frame here for you to see this. But it is a leather jacket, none other than Harley Davidson. Pretty incredible thrift find this one is. It has quite a lot of mark on it, but it is a pretty cool jacket. It's got these pretty cool things on here. Uh, yeah, again, it has some wear, so like leather wearing. I'm sure I can clean it up and make it look all right, but the, but the zips are pretty cool. It is definitely a genuine Harley Davidson piece. I paid 46 bucks for this one. I got like three bucks off it. And I mean, considering it's worn, it's probably going to decrease value a tiny little bit, but considering it's Harley Davidson, I, I still think I can get some good money for it. I couldn't find on the comps on eBay solds any jacket similar to it in regards to having the, the things on the shoulder here. I'm thinking anywhere, the comps on Harley Davidson leather jackets range anywhere from $400 at a maximum used to about 80 bucks. So I'm doubling my money, or just under doubling my money, if it's like the lowest end. But I definitely think I can get more than those ones. I'm thinking somewhere around 200 bucks for this jacket. I may list it a bit higher or a bit lower, depending on what further research tells me. But I'm thinking this could be like a $150 flip right here. Once I clean it up and everything, I might wait until I get back home to clean it up and take some really good photos of it. But yeah, not a bad start to the day with some Harley Davidson fire. It's an absolutely awesome jacket. I'd show you guys a bit further like what it looks like and stuff, but it's really difficult to show you in the car. But it is a pretty cool jacket. I'm not sure if it's a women's one or a men's one too. It was in the men's section, but it's got size 40 on it. Seems a little short in the torso for a man, so I'm not sure. Again, I have to do more research, but you know, I was surprised. I was expecting to see the tag and see like maybe 150 or something like that. Normally Salvos just prices everything so high and in this case they did, but not high enough. I can still make some profit, so I'm happy. Right guys, just got done with another thrift, which is just across the road there. I picked up three hats. Dude hooked me up and he charged me five bucks for all of them. They were two dollars a piece, so I saved a dollar there. But the first hat is for keeps. This is for me. It's a vintage Bombers hat. This is an AFL team for you Americans and other people over the world that don't know what AFL is. It's a team that I support. Go the Bombers. It's got the vintage logo. I don't know about the resale value. It's kind of like a corduroy style as well. Uh, it maybe has resale value of like 15. I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep that one. Next is this Mercedes-Benz one. Uh, this is like the DTM team. So I think this is for the Formula, Formula One cars. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. One of these sold similar. I think it had like a stitched embroidered like signature here as well. That one sold for 40. So I should be able to get 25 to 30 bucks for this one. The last hat is just an Oakley's hat. Uh, nothing too special. Maybe like 10 to 15 bucks for this one. 
I've done pretty well along this peninsula. I've hit up all the op shops till the end of it. So now I'm turning around and heading back. But it's been a pretty good day so far. I haven't really got planned any more op shops to hit up for the rest of the day because I completed the list. So I might hit up a few just off knowledge that I've been to before and have been pretty good. I might uh, go to them. Who knows, I might head back and get all this stuff listed by the end of the day. Almost making it back home. I thought I'd just quickly stop by one more thrift on the way home. I picked up some Kobe shoes. These are the Kobe Game Time in the purple and white. Size nine and a halves. They do have quite a bit of wear. The bottoms are pretty good actually, but like along here it has some wear. Little scuff along there. $10.25. Someone's trying to sell a pair similar for about 70. I'm gonna just go about 50 bucks for these ones. And then I just picked up a pair of nudie jeans. These ones are like eight bucks. They'll have a resale value of $30 plus. So I made it back home, but I'm leaving again because there's no key out for me. Uh, so I'm going to my mum's work to get the key off her so then I can get inside. To make my time worthwhile, I also ordered some sweet chili chicken noodles from the Chinese place that's near her work. So, I'm gonna pick that up on the way through as well and then come back home. Just working away here in the office, just getting all the stuff that I picked up today up for sale and ready to go. But that's it for today's video, everyone. I'm gonna be getting this video uploaded and on YouTube very soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.